give kids the tools they need to succeed and anything can happen. Take the many talented young men and women that we've had on the Mid-South Audio stage over the years. They were armed with support and you can see and hear for yourself how they are flourishing. And that's the idea behind the Instrument Barn program. And we'd like to introduce you to the executive director of the Salisbury Wicomico <laughs> Arts Council, Therese Hamilton. We look like we're ready to play. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to direct us? No, or? I, I wouldn't if I were you. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> so this is a great program. Um, give us an overview. How does it work? Well, it's a, it's, you're right, it is a wonderful program. Um, all the things that the Arts Council does is to give back to the community, and this is one of the ways. You know, a lot of students, well, several students in the area are disadvantaged enough where mom and dad are trying to put food in the table and get them in school, and an instrument's the last thing they can take care of and afford. We've found that the students that are involved in music and arts, anything with the arts, they're academically excelling. Their test grades are higher, their character is built, their truancy is down and we have a program called the Instrument Barn where we're looking for two things today we're looking for people that have an old clarinet in the attic or an instrument you're not using to give it to us and we will refurbish it get it in tip-top shape and then issue it to a student it goes through the band director at the school and we are expanding the program a bit to go further than that so for example the the band director contacts us or the student or the parent and we issue this refurbished instrument that they want they can keep it as long as they keep a C average in school and they can keep it all the way through to they graduate if they remain in band oh my. so who's eligible to be a part of the program any student in Wicomico County public or private school Anyone that needs, that wants to play an instrument and simply is not able to, to afford an instrument, to rent one or to buy one, we're there for them. So can you tell me a little bit about the impact, you know, having an instrument can have on a child? Oh my goodness, I can tell you a really wonderful story without giving any names. Um, I had a teacher, music teacher come to me one day and said that her, her student's family was in a homeless shelter. And the young child, the boy, kept acting out. Um, and in school, the teacher was very concerned, but he loved music. And the only time that he didn't act out was when he had a trumpet in his hand. And so we gave him a trumpet. He continued to make the, he went on to make the honor roll. The family got settled. He's an outstanding citizen today so, from that experience. So do you see that kind of a, a blooming in a child often? Oh, it makes, it's why I get up in the morning. We have an event coming up called Classics for a Cause on November 12th, and it is to provide uh, for the Salisbury Comic Arts Council mission, but also primarily for the instrument barn. So anyone that attends the event and brings us a used instrument can get in free. That way we can build up our supply. So if somebody's watching a child or someone with a child who wants to participate, wants to be in band, but they can't afford an instrument who do they do they go to the band director how do they ideally they go to their band director uh, now if they're homeschooled or there's another situation they can't the parent can contact us individually and we have uh, uh, several ways but our website is getswack.org and it's got all the information on there about the instrument bar and the application how the program works yeah Just and you know i know there's parents out there who had kids who had to play the flute or something in band right it didn't last and it's still in the attic. Absolutely. This is a great way right. to help a child. Therese, thank you so much. What oh, a you're wonderful welcome. program. You're welcome. And if you are able to come to Classics for a Cause November 12th, it's at Asbury Church at 7, you will see the most amazing musical talent right here locally. All children, last year we had an eight year old violinist that was like a child prodigy. Really? Yeah, so from about eight years old to right out to high school to senior, you will see everything you can imagine. And those students are doing it simply for the good of the cause. Oh, we'll have all that information on our yes. website. Yes, Thank you so much.